hello you, welcome to Geekism Tropical 5, El Presidente. This is going to be our uh, throwback Thursday for a little while. A few caveats before we get started. This isn't going to be a dead long series, this one. Um, just this is going to be a tidying over series until something a little bit bigger I'm working on. And uh, it's going to be fun, hopefully. I'm a big fan of this game, big fan of the series actually. And while all of them have their little issues, uh, I think this one um, has a really nice sort of play level uh, it's relatively I suppose it's easy really but it's quite chilled it's quite laid back you can have lots of fun building uh, and lots of fun with the great humor that this series has now obviously this isn't that much of a throwback this game is now three years old I originally went to play the original Tropico I have all of them on Steam uh, big fan of the whole series like I say um, played the uh, actually recorded an episode of the original Tropico uh, but man that game is slow like it takes so long to do stuff and also there's very little uh, in the way of customization that you've got there you can't even rotate most of the buildings in fact all of the buildings with the original game you can't even rotate them uh, so I wanted something that's a little bit more uh, creative based we can do a little bit more like sort of laying out areas and, and planting trees and things like that uh, and uh, Tropico 5 personally out of the uh, the sort of new age of this game uh, is my favorite we've also got Tropico 6 on the way I don't know when that's going to be yet but we'll definitely be doing a series on that here on the channel because like I say I'm a huge fan of this game it's a great mix of sim uh, simulation sort of city building policy building and then also the great humor that the game is known for as well so we're gonna go new game we're just gonna go straight into sandbox although I can't really remember what I'm doing to be honest with you uh, we have a Cortinian dynasty and um, oh I could use one of those guys couldn't I um, Oh, we'll start a new, no we'll start a new one we'll start a new dynasty and we'll we'll name the um, dynasty um, Gicavito. There we go. Confirm that sentence. It's a sort of Latin American y sort of style name, doesn't it? No, I hear you cry, but uh, never mind. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be our new Throwback Thursday. Again, what we'll probably do, like we're trying to do with Throwback Thursday now, is 10 episodes. We'll see how we're going. We'll get to 10. Uh, to be honest with you, I feel like I should have probably stopped Theme Hospital at 10. Because uh, the last couple were. <coughs> oh, excuse me, the last couple were. Uh, Bit of a hot mess, really, of me trying to figure stuff out. Uh, his name is going to be... Oh, there's loads of names. Let's have a look for... Is there a similar to John T? Is there like a Juan? Or a uh, or something like that? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So half the game is setting up your guy. And giving him the uh, the correct sort of... Um, points and stuff. I remember you can have point systems into them, like whether they're mucho macho or whether they're riddled with their... Uh, <laughs> like um, death and things. So we can have one, we can have one Carlos, we can have one Luis, or we can have one Nito or Julio. Um, I kind of like Juan Carlos. Uh, his skill, this is, sorry for the orphanal pronunciation by the way, uh, his skill, he gets $200 annual income, that's not great. Uh, global effects of his production building is increased by two, that's pretty good. Uh, all tropical soldiers inflict 2% more damage, that hopefully won't be that needed. Service buildings construction cost decreased. Hidden rolls in Tropico, 20% factor. Uh, faster, sorry. It converts two votes to when cheating on elections. Um, ultra celebrity. Foreign aid increased by 10%. That might be quite good early on. More construction, 4% cheaper. Rigid pollution. That might be useful. Let's go for... I quite like the idea of the um, of that one. Increased by two. Yeah, that sounds good. Race. Um... We, Latino it has to be. There we go. And face. Um, I want to go for. I want to go for the classic sort of Fidel sort of look about him. Yes, there we go. Dictator. Um, what colour should we have him? Oh, champagne. Beautiful. Champagne and green. Very good. Uh, hipster hair. He needs to have the classic. Uh, let's have a look. Where are you? Where are you, Fidel? There we go. Hobo? No. Uh, Pulp Fiction's pretty good. Nerd. Macho. Is that one? Yeah, that's got to be, hasn't it? Hair colour. A bit darker than that, I think. Uh, black. E oh, the black's a bit too dark, actually. What about a... Uh, a I think we'll stick with brunette, then. Yeah, okay, cool. Hat. Yeah, gonna have the dictator hat. An accessory. Oh, do we give him... Yeah, big shades. Um, big aviator shades. Good stuff. Okay. I think his, uh, I think his uh, reflection just moved without him then. Uh, map is Isle de Halcon. I have no idea what the uh, what the maps look like. Oh, here we go. They're very pretty maps, if I remember rightly. He wants something with a big old uh, space to build in. 
Caballo, that looks pretty good, so let's go for that one. Starting era colonial, start population 100, starting money. Uh, that, this all seems fine. I want to turn his asses off because I just hate his asses in this sort of game. Uh, victory, no, we'll just, we're just going to play. We're just going to play and the victory will be us enjoying ourselves. Um, sorry if on mic you can hear some bumbling about. Uh, people on Twitter and on my Patreon will know that... Um, let's just pause it a second. How do we do that? Is there a key for it? Or we're just going to click there. Let's click there in a second. Uh, people on my Patreon and uh, Twitter will know that Ario, uh, our sort of little mascot here on the channel, was in a bit of a fight. He was kicking off. Uh, and, um, yeah, he's uh, he's hurt his eye uh, quite badly, we think, although we don't think he's going to lose it. So, uh, luckily, there's that. Um, but we'll uh, I'll keep you posted. But he has one of those cones of shame on at the moment. Actually, there's no one. There's not that much building space here. It's going to be quite a small island, but it's okay. It'll be nice. It'll be pretty. So, um, what we're going to do... Is kind of build out this uh, this area here. Uh, we'll, what we'll do eventually is we'll move the dock and we'll create a full-on industrial area, and we'll have this be the centre of the uh, the town with the with the castle in here, the, the sort of mayoral palace. Uh, but for now, let's just get the place up and running. So let's uh, unpause. Here he is, licensed to trade. Um, as crown representative, I can offer you. We want to keep the crown pretty happy, but I'm not really bothered about getting all the trade deals out of it because we won't be doing so much of that straight away. So we'll just buy the silver package and we'll be happy about it. Uh, we can build a, a tobacco plantation, which is fine. Uh, oh, the... Okay, camera's a bit funky. You can't move around while zooming, which is a bit weird. Uh, but it's okay. So raw resources. Let's get a plantation on the go for tobacco. Where's good? See, I struggle with these uh, colours. I've got the uh, the whole colour blindness one on, which is why it's grey and black as opposed to... Uh, whoops. Let's figure out... How do we rotate? There we go. Okay, let's say... Uh, we'll just plunk it there next to this one. And then we'll build a road. Where are you? Road. Out to it. Is that not it? Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Okay, so they'll get that building. Uh, let's speed it up. Figure out what's going on. Uh, yeah, so what we'll do eventually is we'll we'll make the place look a lot nicer. We'll move our teamsters and everything out towards an industrial area, and then we'll have this as a nice sort of residential area, and then we'll probably, I mean, touristy. Mm, it's not really touristy. We've got any tourist areas. We've got a Mayan temple over here, so we could do a, like a riverside tourist area. That would be quite neat, wouldn't it? Um, personally, I'd like to try and keep tourism away from uh, the main area, as you can probably imagine. Uh, we have a mine over here as well, uh, so that's good to know. Um, present you with this letter of commendation. Thank you, Lord Oaksworth. Uh, for now, I think we're going to take a longer mandate uh, because that is de that was definitely the issue I had last time I played was the mandate wasn't long enough and we ran out of time and we ended up I don't know it was horrible we had to have a war and all sorts um, build a library okay the library is a bit of a weird thing to build straight away but if that's what it wants us to do that's what we can do uh, let's have a look residential luxury entertainment tourism welfare and media where on earth? Oh, research and education. That makes more sense. So we have a library. Uh, what I would like to do is build a bit of a square around the front of the, uh, the palace here and have the library on the other side of it. So what we'll do is we'll come in to uh, demolition. I have to try and remember what all the... Uh... Okay, so we'll do that. There we go. And then we'll go back into our build menu and we'll build a bit of a road. Uh, left click to place. It's quite irritating that it won't let me do it around there. Never mind, we'll do it here. We'll make a bit of a uh, bit of a square. There we go. That's good. And then on the opposite side of the square, wow, the camera really is funky. Uh, on the opposite side of the square, we'll build that library. Where are you? No, research library. So I'm hoping it fits. The problem with these games is you can't really pick the size of them. But yeah, it looks like it does. 
So we'll be able to put it there. We need to move our Teamsters office. That's fine, though. We can do that. Is there a move? Or is there just a demolish and build it again? That's fine if there is. We'll move it towards where we want it, which is going to be down to the docks here. Why can't we place you there? Perfect place for a Teamsters office. Uneven terrain. Oh, well, fair enough. Um... Oh my word, you're going to have to bear with me while I figure out the buttons. Can we get away with you there? There we can, we can get away with you there, that's fine. So we'll put you there. And we'll get a bit of road. Going to you. Now that road there... was a bother, but now it's sorted, that's fine. And then we'll... As soon as that Teamsters one's built, we'll get rid of this one. And we can build our library, it'll be nice and beautiful. Um, library's a weird thing to get straight off though, to be honest with you. I don't really know why it's asked me to do that. Have I... One there, one there. No, I've built that right, haven't I? I was going to say, that seems a little funky. We might as well join that road up for now. To help people out. Okay, Teamsters off is built. So let's demolish you. Sorry, buddy. But hopefully all the people who are working there will now just jump over to that one. So look, yeah, it's, it's full. Full to the brim of people already. So now we can put our library in. And uh, like I say, it's just going to help us out in the future when we look at really sort of building the area nicely. Um, we can do what we want to do. So which way? That is the front, isn't it, there? Yeah, so that needs to be the front there. And that'll be nice, that. The great library right opposite to the, uh, the panel there. Export three pairs of tobacco. Okay. So, how do we click the dock for that, don't we? No? Trades. Here we go. Agriculture other. See, nobody nobody wants tobacco. So, there's not really much we can do there, apart from the sort of standard amount of tobacco it will take it, it'll send out. Because it does, I think it's, it sends out whatever's excessive. Um, hopefully, here. Yeah, there's a boat here. Let's see what that does. Oh yeah, see there you go. Already 1,300. That's great. So, so a lot of these edicts, they'll just uh, edicts. A lot of these uh, things it wants you to do, they'll just happen. Uh, the library, we have two um, college workers in there, which is good. And uh, there we go. Library set up. That looks good as well. So what we'll do is we'll make this a nice sort of grassy garden area once we uh, once we have a bit more of disposable income. How to say? Uh, who are you? Oh, that's me. Juan Carlos Gicavito. Gicavito. How do I put it? Gicavito. There we go. Uh, he's got a five skill as a, a one skill as a foreman. Um, all right. So we can make him a manager somewhere. Effective increase in job quality reduced by... T reduced? Oh. Um, have we got any more missions or is that it for now? Should we look at just getting some housing in? Oh, here we go. Research. Um, so we can unlock plantation upgrades, we can unlock ranches, and we can unlock mines. Let's have a look if we've actually got a mine anywhere near where we are. It doesn't look like we have, because we've got this beautiful river that runs along here, which means we haven't got a mine. Ah, there's one there. What are you? Uh, we won't know until we've unlocked you, but maybe we build this as the industrial area then. And this could be housing along the river. That might be nice, mightn't it? And then we'll do up here. Uh, we'll have a big highway going up here to the uh, residential area. Um, oh, we've done the tobacco. Let's take um, another mandate for now, because we're not doing too bad for cash. Um, and with research, let's go for mines. Yeah. Oh, actually, you can just do them all, can't you? It's just which order you pick them in. Okay, well, we'll go for mines first, because I think that's probably going to be um, good e economically, you know? So... Um, We've not got much else going on, so let's just get a bit more housing built there because we have quite a few people living in shacks. How do we look at this? Homeless, 60 people. Whoa. Uh, so let's get some housing. Country house is probably going to be the uh, the standard so far. And we'll just have a... Uh, they're all here, and they're looking pretty good. We'll just have a little row of them for now. Again, we'll probably make them look a little nicer as we need to, but for now, they'll get thrown together by the construction workers. And it's all good. Can we build, talking of construction, can we get you... I remember where everything is. Infrastructure, is it? Yeah. Can we get one of you there? 
No, that's a shame because he would have fit quite nicely in that space. Um, just because of this dodgy terrain. Okay, well, maybe there we can carry the carry the road down. Let's do that. So road just to there for now. That's good. And then we can. Uh, well, actually, we've got to wait till you're built. But when you're built, we can demolish you. Um, and it just it just starts opening up the area ready for larger expansion in the future. We'll have casinos and all stuff around here. It's going to be awesome. Uh, build two new guard towers. We'll get revolutionary support, which we do need. Um, so that sounds good. Let's go to military. Um, it's interesting that these revolutionaries will, in the end, become the bad guys. These are the guys we're going to have to fight against in the future. Um, but yeah, it's good fun. Uh, so we'll have one of these down by the docks, which makes the most sense to me. Is that just only the interest? That's really annoying that we can't build along there at all. Let's, uh, let's build you there then, um, with the doorway out onto the main road there. I like how you can do diagonals. Actually, let's do... Yeah, because since that space isn't much use for anything else, let's build you on a diagonal uh, or a diagonal. We might be able to do the bigger military base there later on. And then I also want one sort of round the back of the... Uh, that's sort of guarding the farms as well. Where, where's the best place for that? It probably is here, actually, but the, I don't want to ruin the houses. Um, let's have you there for now. We may well end up shifting you at a later date. We probably need a bit of road up to you. Although maybe not, actually. Maybe maybe you're, uh, you're okay at not needing roads. Okay, good. So our two guard towers, hopefully we'll get staff. I think we might need high school staff. Um, we could do a quick build once we've loaded, which we will be later on. Uh, let's have a look. Budgie's uh, constant reminder of the care of the uh, guard towers are the constant reminder of the care of the governments for the people. Ever vigilant soldiers carry their duty there until they take a bullet in the knee, or an arrow in the knee, uh, engages enemy soldiers in its vicinity. Okay. Uh, mines are unlocked. Okay, good. So we can move over here once we can. We need some scouts to come over and find the mine, so that's fine. Um, one of the features I wasn't a massive fan of in this game is that you had to send scouts out to open up the fog of war. Um, Four citizens left Tropico. What? Uh, we have really crap happiness, to be fair. <laughs> um, but it'll just come as we st as we build stuff. You know, we need to just build stuff. All the houses now. Uh, you know, people are living in houses. Let's have a look. We suddenly have sixty. We've halved the homelessness problem. So I I think personally we're 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 doing a fantastic job. Uh, let's get some more houses down because these are pretty cheap and they don't really cost anything once they're up and running. Um, so we'll do that row there. We'll do another row here. And we'll build a road. Why do I want to build the road? No. There. Ah, that's interesting. Doesn't look like we can build a road to there because the junction maybe is too close. So let's build it to there, and let's put another house like that, and then it'll look like we meant to do it. There you go, if in doubt, make it look like you meant to do it. Okay, the first guard tower is built, and it has people working on it, that's good. Tedo Ortiz and Juana, uh, Juliana, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop the pronunciations. <laughs> okay, so we can get new trade routes with smugglers. We can just get two grand straight off, or we can import revel three educated citizens. Hmm. Trade routes. Maybe we should get a trade route on the go. Maybe we should build a couple more farms. Depends what the trade route is, though. Let's do the trade routes. Let's do trade routes and see what we got. Here we go. Wool. Oh, we haven't got a single import trade route. That's kind of sucks. Um, cotton is a pretty good trade route for cotton. So let's get a couple, see if we can get a couple of cotton farms set up here. Stole my Ranch upgrades unlocked. Good stuff. Sorry, I'm skipping those. I've, I've read them all millions of times. Played through this game quite a lot. Um, so we'll have one space there for a road. And then these are like too wide, aren't they? So... you through to there. Whoops. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been quite a nice little uh, little rotation there. Never mind. Okay. 
There we go. Try that again. Hmm. Why can't that be a straight road? Ooh, roads. I forgot how funky roads were in this game. Wow. Uh, let's do that, and then let's have you... There we go. I don't mind... I don't want this hole to be a grid, but, you know, it kind of needs to make sense, doesn't it? Um, so how do we do... How do we send people out to find stuff? Um... It's going to be one of these early ones, isn't it? Military fort, unlock world wars, guard terror, or is it from? Is it from us? In a flash of Have a new plantation, cocoa. Wrong. Except, okay, so we were doing cocoa and cotton, weren't we? So uh, let's have a look at that plantation. Um, cocoa is not good for cocoa, sort of anywhere we're looking at, really. Um, so there's no problem with just sticking one down somewhere and getting crap cocoa off it, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's just do that, and then we want to see a couple of uh, cotton ones as well. So cotton's pr actually pretty good here. So let's a um, bit funky because of the because uh, of the beach, but I'm okay with it. Let's get a couple of cotton down. These can all get moved as well later on as well. We'll probably move the farming into a whole new area. Uh, we might actually do very little farming in the end, to be fair. we know, I normally end up going for lots of offices and, and really build the place up. Uh, but that it's not a bad start. It's a bit funky, but I quite like it. Uh, so now we'll set up a cotton trade route. Cotton going out. And we lose a bit of standing with the crown, but do you know what? I'm all right with it. Um, okay, good. So we've got, as soon as that's built there, this one... We'll get a bit of a boost off this one. Hmm. Additional man. How are we doing on the mandate? We still got five years on the mandate. Um, we could do with maybe ten citizens. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to take the five grand because thirty grand. We haven't actually got that much cash, you know. Let's give it to you. So plantation upgrades are now unlocked. So now we can do stuff here. Let's have a look. Upgrades. Selective so breeding. Effectiveness increase each month after this upgrade is built. It just costs two grand to start off with. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Extensive fertilization. Increase effectiveness by 100, but the soil quality degrades over time. Let's not worry about that one then. What are you? Effectiveness is increased by 100, just for five grand straight off. Uh, let's get these ones, because these are where the cash is going to be coming from. Uh, increases effectiveness by two by mechanization. Yeah, let's do that. That's not cost us that much. We sent, we only sent two grand out that year, you see. We want to we want to really build up on our what's coming in. President, as you know, it is your will alone that keeps Dropsica together. Without you, the entire eyeball will crumble. Perhaps it is time to consider adding another member to your dynasty, just to be on the safe side. I've done some research and discovered that you have around sixty cousins. We'll need to sort some of the tests to narrow the number down a bit. Do you have any ideas? Um, arm wrestling competition, singing competition, desynchronized swimming competition. Ooh, let's go synchronized swimming. Um, an heir was born, all animals became quiet, using ancient rituals involving thingy, 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 what ba da ba da ba da Okay. Um, service buildings construction decreased by 5%. Detects hidden roles in Tropico 10% faster. I think we'll go for administrator. Oh, okay, we're picking her. Well, she looks pretty good as she is, but she doesn't look uh, very much of the time. So let's, uh, let's make her look a little bit older. Old fashioned, I guess. I don't really have any options, but evening gown it is. Let's have a dark pink evening gown and dark purple, that looks good. Hair wise, you need to have bigger hair. There, that, yeah, that sort of thing. No, maybe not. <laughs> Wig, bald, long hair, long bob cut, casual. I think it's going to be the fashion one. Brunette hair, so she matches her dad. Oh, I hate when I hate in games when when you put a hat on it makes them bald. It's just it's lazy design. There we 
you go. Accessory, what can the accessories be? Glasses, a moustache, a dummy, a red dot. What on earth are all these? Uh, yeah, no accessory, I think, is probably the way we're going to go. Good. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, now what do we do? I still want to use him. I'm happy to do it, but I still want to use Juan Carlos Gavito. Uh, good. So how are we doing here? Farms are operational. Are we making money out of them? Monthly production, 162. Profit, 120. No, it's not much, but you know, it's something. It's something. And it doesn't have bad crop growth here and here. Housing-wise, we have 14 homeless families. So let's build some more houses. We'll do another strip here, I think. And we've got some more research to do as well. Residential, country house. Let's do them that way so that it makes more sense. Like I say, in the future, we will definitely spend a bit more time laying all this out, but all this is going to be flattened later on for offices and, and other things like that. So right now, don't worry. What we'll end up doing is probably just putting like a few little country houses out by the farms for people to live in. Uh, good stuff. Oops, it is only me to do that. <clears throat> Research. Military fort. I think that's the one we need for finding areas... So we'll go that one next. That one, that one, that one. Actually, we need constitution before most of these. Let's go for the trigger and then the constitution, and then the, all the rest can come later. What's going on here? Constitution. Oh, we need to do two of these. Okay, so let's do a uh, lumber mill. I mean, lumber always makes pretty good money. Money. Uh, let's do that. Okay, cool. We've got a little bit of a setup going on here. Send an expedition to explore the island. You can send an expedition from your palace or a military fort. There we go. Accept. That's what we need to do. So, explore. And you need to find this. You need to find this. Here he goes. They're off. That's what we really want to do. 16 citizens arrived. Why would you turn up here? The place is a hovel at the moment. I mean, it's going to be the most amazing island ever. Export cocoa, except we have cocoa, don't we? Monthly production, 59. It's not great. Um, I think we might have to spend the money. We've only got, oh no, we've only got eight, seven grand. Look, we're, we're absolutely hemorrhaging cash. We need to get this mine going and quick. Post haste. Let's have a look at our uh, trade deal and whether it's still going. So we, yeah, we're earning like another 400 quid on that. That's pretty good. We can send... Oh, we can send... What are these ones that we built? Cotton. Oh no, that's... Yeah, that's the one we want, isn't it? Even though cocoa's pretty good. Mm, it's okay. Let's get this mine done. Um, His Royal Majesty, six months man of state and increased revolutionary report. Wow, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's like a, a, a double one. Iron. Let's get an iron mine on the go. FE. Go for it. That'll bring in a nice bit of cash early on. That is a good that is a good thing to do is get a mine early on. So we'll bring bring a nice curved road right up to uh, right up to there. There we go. That's good. Okay, and I think what we might do as well, is it Teamsters? Facilities transfers the resources. I think we might build a Teamsters office up here as well to make sure that the iron actually uh, gets shifted, you know? Gets it down here and gets it onto the boat, so to speak. Uh, we've got something else to do. Explore the island to find a gold deposit. Wow, okay. Um, I'm hoping it's this one. So if it is, that would be good. Let's explore. So there. Other mines wise, what have we got? There's one over here. And there's one I hope it's not that one. Military fort's unlocked, that's good. Yeah, it looks like we've got four. So I'm hoping this is the gold one. If it is, we're really onto a winner here. The military fort, I always like to build on the coast, because that's really where it would have been. And also a point where we can kind of make it a bit of a not a touristy area, because I don't think you can actually do that, but definitely sort of like 
a nice looking build, you know. Problem is here, it's unexplored territory. Um, over here might be nice though. That might make sense. It's near the palace. It's on the coast. It's probably on the most central. No, I do think here probably better. Let's see what this looks like once it's explored. Three grand went off then. We're still hemorrhaging cash. But, uh, you know, hopefully this iron mine now operational. It's got staff. Profit. Okay, it's making money. That's good. Teamster's office is working as well. So these should be running uh, running iron back and forth. That's what we like to see. Here we go. What are you? Oops. Coal. Ugh, annoying. Um... We're going to have to keep going until we find the gold mine. Let's do this one next. Cost us money. We're in We're in minus now, but that's okay. It happens. It happens. It's not something I'm majorly worried about. The crown sends you 5,500. We just uh, we get cash occasionally, just for no reason other than the crown loves us. Uh, I feel like we need another cocoa plant, because at the moment, we're kind of struggling, um, because we have pretty crap cocoa levels everywhere. Like here is probably the best we can get to. Right, let's just build it here and we can get rid of it at a later date. A uh, little road out. Come on. There we go. Yeah, ro I do not remember the roads being so funky in this game. But it's okay, we can live with it. They would be sort of uh, piddly and weird anyway, wouldn't they, I suppose, in this sort of climate. They would build them wherever they can. Uh, 15 citizens stop. Okay, stop arriving there, please, because you're just homeless. Actually, we've only got 10 homeless families, so I don't know what's happening there. Whether people are leaving or what. Um, residential. Beauty improves the housing quality. Yeah, tenement. Unlocked in World Wars. Unlocked in World War. Yeah, so so far, we've, we've just got these basic, uh, basic shacks, really. But we can build a few more. Hopefully, I don't like homelessness. We, it's something we can solve really easily, you know, uh, in this game and in real life. Look at me getting political. Um, uh, oh, right, okay. Tropico will get all the gold, increased military support, revolutionary support, 10% price gold, sim mandate. We kind of need to, we're worried a little bit about mandate here now because we're not getting anywhere near where we want to. No, let's go for revolution support. Sod it. Go big or go home. So where are you? You're here, are you, gold? Okay, we need to we need to get mine in you then. Because you are super good for us. Where are you? There. It's gonna take a while to get the to get the old road up there, but it'll be pretty good. Uh, but I think that is where we're gonna have to leave it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. And uh, if you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. Thanks again for watching. Please join in with the Geekism community over on our Discord server. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.